Beautiful. At this point, we know how we can render HTML. But what about CSS? Because as you can see, I mean, it's cute to have this kind of list, but you probably agree with me that it does require some CSS. And essentially, it's not as difficult as one might think. Effectively, we just need to create a CSS file. Now, as always, name is really up to you. But I'm going to go with index.css since my JavaScript file is index.js. We want to set up the styles. And lastly, we want to import that in our index.js file. Now, I can tell you right away that for bigger projects, most likely you'll have a folder with CSS files, which again is totally okay. You can definitely do so. You'll just have to change the path. If you want to set up the entire folder with a bunch of CSS files, you can definitely do so. They don't have to be separate files in the source. And as far as the logic, I just want to create a reset and then add to a body, fun family, background, and a color. Then we'll import and then we'll worry about the classes. So let's start over here. So I'm going to navigate to source again. If you want, you can create the folder, just your path is going to change. I really want to emphasize that because I keep getting questions about it. So I want to answer them here. So let's start here with index CSS. As always, if you want to call this banana CSS, it's also a cool option. Let's go here with that reset. So margin, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing equal to a border box. Border box, okay, beautiful. And then let's select the body. Now, of course, as you're looking at the browser, you won't see any changes. In order for those changes to take place, we do need to import. So first, let's just set up those styles. We're going to go here with font family, and I'm going to set it equal to a system font. Lately, that is actually my preference. Then let's go with background. And we're going to go with hashtag F1, F5, and F8. Okay, so that's the gray one. And then as far as the color, I'm going to go with hashtag 222. Let's save it. Like I said, the browser still displays the same list. And now let's navigate to index.js and we want to import that index CSS. Now, later when we import JavaScript files, you'll see that we don't need to add extension. And for the most part, we'll say what we want to import, whether that is some kind of array or whether that is the component. When it comes to CSS, we want to grab the entire file and we must, 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 must provide the file extension. So since I have index CSS in the index JS, I want to go with import. And then, like I said, we need to go with the path. So this is our own asset. These are assets that are coming from the libraries. So when it comes to libraries, we don't need to provide a path. Libraries are installed. So we just need to provide the library name. Now, when it comes to our own assets, we need to provide a path to that asset. And it's always going to start with dot. Now, there might be two dots if we have to go one level up. But one dot means that we're in the same folder. So in the same folder, we go dot and then forward slash. And notice it right away offers me the test. Now, I don't want to test. Instead, what I want is index and then dot. And like I said, the entire file name, including the extension. With the JavaScript files, you won't have to do that. And the moment we save, we should see some changes and check it out. It looks like some changes were applied. Now, it's kind of hard to see. So let me navigate to the big screen. So notice this is our giant image. And then we have some text. And this is the background. Now, if you want to take a look, as always, just go to developer tools, and you'll notice that we have some styles already. Okay, awesome. So now let's keep working. I want to style the book list. And I also want to style the book, my single component. 
and essentially we just want to add the class. Now, of course, you can style in the index CSS like you normally would, let's say, if you want to select the section, but in most cases, you would use some kind of class. And we just need to remember that in React, there is no class. If I'm going to go here with some value, and if I'll save, if we navigate to the browser in the console, we should see invalid DOM property class. Did you mean class name? So yes, when it comes to React, if we want to add a class in the JSX, we need to go with class name, not just class. And once we do that, it's exactly the same as we normally would in HTML. Basically, we add the class and we're good to go. We add the styles and we don't need to worry about anything else. Just the name is a little bit different. And in here, I'm going to go with book list. So book list, and then the same I'll apply to the book. So let me copy and paste. I want to go to the article. And then instead of book list, it's going to be a book. And basically, I want to set up some kind of grid layout. Once we get to 768. And as far as the book, well, I just want to add some background, make sure that the image sits nicely in the card, as well as add some styles to a heading two. So let's navigate back to index CSS. First, let's just grab the book list, I'm going to set up the width to be 90% of the screen width, then max width is going to be 1170. So it's always going to be at least 90% of the screen width, but it's never going to be bigger than 1170. I want to add some margin top bottom five REMs, I want to place it in the center. So I'm going to go with auto, and then I'll right away display grid. And as far as the gap for the rows and the columns, it's going to be two REMs. Again, the problem right now is the image. Since the size is quite big, that's why we have this look. So you know what, I'm actually going to skip a little bit and I'm just going to say book. So now I'm selecting the article that has the class. And you know what, I'll right away add this IMG. So I'll select the image. And I'm just going to say that width should always be 100%. So now it will nicely fit in our card. And object fit is going to be equal to a cover, we save it. And notice now, of course, our project looks more presentable. Now back to the book list. Once we get to 768, I want to set up that three column layout. So in here, let's go with media, media, okay, screen, and we're going to add a min width. So let's go here with and and min width, and that is going to be equal to 768 pixels. So once we get to that screen size, we'll have that three column layout. So book list here. And then inside of it, let's go with grid template columns. That's the property repeat and three and one fraction. Let's save it. As you can see on a small screen, there's no difference. But once we get to the big screen, we have nice three column layout. And now let me just continue with the book. First, I want to add some background. And I'm going to go with the white one. So hashtag FFF, then we want to go with border radius. And that is going to be equal to one REMs, then we'll add a little bit of padding. In my case, I'm going to go with two REMs, and then text align center. So place everything in the center, where you have the image one. So we really need to focus on heading two. That's it. So book, heading two, and then margin top one REM. And as far as the font size, I think I'm going to go with one REMs. And now what I can do is set up the zoom again to 175, since everything is nicely displayed in the browser. And again, if we take a look at the bigger browser window, we can also see a nice list. So that's how we can add the most basic CSS to our react project, we create a CSS file. Again, I'm going to repeat yes, it can be index, it can be shake and bake CSS, whatever, if you want to set up the folder, 
The only difference is when you import, then of course you need to start with dot, since it's going to be in the same folder, then forward slash the folder name, and then the file. Effectively, we want to import everything. So later with JavaScript, you'll see how we're importing something specific from the file, whether that is component, whether that is a data. But with CSS, we grab everything, and we need to provide always, always a extension as well, which is not something we're going to have to do with the JavaScript files. And with this in place, now let's talk about the images in React.